guys welcome to another day of vlogmas it is tuesday december the 20th i'm here with vlogmas day 21 um and i've been behind on this advent calendar but i'm trying to get back on track today going to have this one it's day seven it's the gingerbread i'm actually really excited to give this a try gingerbread hot cocoa never had anything like this but super stoked to give it a try so yeah let you know how it tastes all right, so actually this one might be my favorite. I'm having a hard time getting all the powder to dissolve though. So there's a couple little light clumps as you can still see, but it's actually very good and it does taste like gingerbread. So yeah, I'm actually very impressed with this one. Hey everyone, what's up? Um, first time seeing me today. Hey, how you doing? Um, it is Tuesday and I, I already told you that when I got the hot chocolate, but it's Tuesday um, and it's a little after 12 o'clock. It's 12, 11 p.m. and I am out and about running errands. In the crazy Christmas crowds, we're five days out till Christmas, and things are wild around here. Wild, wild, wild. So, yeah. Um, people, I think the crowds are so bad because, number one, I mean, it's Christmas in five days. So, everybody's running around for that reason. But, number two, now they are calling for crazy winter weather over Christmas. Starting Thursday. They're saying Thursday we're going to get a horrible, like, ice storm. That's what they're saying. Um, and then they're saying that it's going to get so cold over Friday. Now, I don't think it's Friday. It's going to do ice on Thursday, and then it's going to snow. It's going to get cold enough to snow on Friday, and then it's going to get so freezing cold over Christmas. So Saturday, Sunday, I mean, they're talking like one degree. I think it was like nine degrees is the high on Christmas. But they're saying with the wind chill, it's going to feel like negative 27. <laughs> So everybody's out and about freaking out because we want to get our stuff done. And, you know, I'm honestly feeling it. I feel it. I'm the same way. So we are trying to get stuff done that we need to get done. I got a bunch of errands to run today. I mean, I'd have to do this stuff regardless of the, the potential weather, but got a lot of stuff to do. So we're currently sitting here at CVS. I got my Care Pass reward today. I signed back up for Care Pass. I was a little hesitant. But I went in and signed up for it. I was really big into CBS couponing during November. I always get really excited about it for Black Friday and everything. And I'm gonna be real, I'm not super into CBS couponing now. I really I don't think I've been once during December. The deals just haven't been that great, in my opinion. Um, but I went ahead and kept Care Pass because sometimes you can get some really good paper product deals at CBS. And that's actually what I'm doing today. So I'll share the deal with you guys in the store. But I'm gonna do that um, and use up my Care Pass. I'm going to turn some of my care pass into I bought it money. So you can't go wrong with that, right? Going to do that. Also, I am going to go to the post office. I'm trying to do like all the errands I can right in this area. And all these things are like right by each other. So it works out good. I need to go to the post office again, check my box and see if I got some more cards. I've actually not been there since Saturday. So I'm sure there's more cards there. I know you just saw yesterday's vlog um, was me opening all those cards. It's actually been like three days since I've been there personally. And I know I have to wait in line for something because I got a notice the last time I checked, they had a little slip in my box that said there was somebody sent me something so large they couldn't fit it in the box and I have to wait in line to retrieve it. They were already closed on Saturday, so I couldn't do that. So I got to do that today. Hopefully the lines aren't too bad um, to retrieve it. Normally they have a few people up there during Christmas, so it shouldn't be too bad. Um, I'm pretty sure it's my gift from one of my subscribers, Mike, and he told me I'm not allowed to open it until Christmas. So that's a little hard, but you know, we'll abide by his wishes. Also, I want to run to Rite Aid because I have some bonus cash that's about to expire. So I'm going to go and use up that. I've not been Rite Aid couponing either lately. It was so good during Black Friday, but I just feel like it hasn't been that good lately. I've just, and Walmart's been so great this last month. I've just been really focusing all my attention there. Also, I'm going to run in Respects, which is a local grocery store in this area. It tends to not be as busy as Walmart and Kroger. My grandma, she was out this morning and she said Kroger was insane. She said it was horrifying. We're already going to have to go there tomorrow because I have to film my Kroger deals video. Um, and also we're going to pick up our groceries for Christmas dinner and stuff. 
So I'm not gonna go there today, but my grandparents are out of milk. So I'm just gonna go and get it at Respects. And also we need saltine crackers. And I actually price compared between the store's websites. That's my favorite thing now that we can do in 2022 is that we can look up prices online. Because when I first started couponing, we couldn't do that. None of the stores had grocery pickup or anything like that. So we didn't know what the prices in store were. But now that all these websites started the pickup, we can see the prices. And actually I'm shocked, but saltine crackers at Respects, which is a small chain grocery store in Southeast Ohio and like Wheeling, West Virginia. That's the only places they have them. A lot of times stuff is higher, but actually their, their brand of saltine crackers is cheaper than even the great value. Who would have guessed that? I don't know, but I'm thankful because it tends to not be as crazy busy at Respects than like Kroger or Walmart. So I'm going to go there and get the milk and crackers. And I also need to figure out something for dinner. We're doing something simple tonight. Um, just something basic. I'm thinking like maybe a rotisserie chicken or just something easy. We'll see what I, I end up picking up down there. And then I want to go to the gym at some point. I mean, it's just going to be a busy day, but I figured some of you would like to come along and who we've rambled for almost five minutes, but let's head in CVS. I'm going to do my little care pass deal. CVS. Okay. Well, this plan has changed. I was going to do this on the Cottonelle. Um, it's $4.99. I was going to buy two for $9.98. And there's a rebate on Ibotta for a dollar back. So he's going to basically make like two of them. I paid $5 for my care pass. And I wasn't going to pay anything for these because my $10 care pass would adjust out and make it free. Um, and then I was going to get back $2 on Ibotta. So it was going to make it like $3 for both because I paid $5 for the care pass, got $2 on Ibotta, made it $3. But I only got one. <laughs> so that changes things. Okay, I guess my next plan is I'm just going to get the candy that's buy one get one free um 529 buy one get one free and i do need some rollers i want to make some more of those pretzels because they're so good so i'm just going to go ahead and do the buy one get one free candy and call it a day so i'll just get a thing of hershey's kisses the thing of rollos okay so it comes with 29 cents but remember i paid five dollars for the care pass so 529 and i'll get a dollar on ibotta so 429 which i guess for the two Stand candies and the toilet now. paper the not too bad all right, next stop is Rite Aid. Let's see, what can I use my $2 on? Rite Aid's got a lot of cool Christmas stuff. They have like The Office, which I've never even watched The Office, but I know a lot of people like it. Gingerbread, Kits, and Minions, Elf on the Shelf, Pez, cool stuff. And then they also have a lot of their gift sets or buy one, get one free, which is really cool actually. So if you still need stuff for Christmas, check out Rite Aid. Also, a lot of their toys are on sale this week, too, for, I think, six. I thought this is 50, but I thought it was 60% is what the ad said, but still, pretty cool stuff. What? A computer cleaner? <laughs> they just come up with the weirdest stuff. This amazes me, because back in the day, these used to be so expensive, but now that literally no one uses digital cameras anymore, everybody uses their phone. These are cheap. $19.99, but this cracks me up. The old timey film cameras are $39.99. No one's using film anymore. I, I doubt it. I mean, maybe there's some people out there who do, but gosh, that's crazy. Let's shop. It's only a dollar as it's all $2. Well, I guess not all of it, but most of it's $2. So that's a little misleading. Okay, kind of weird, but I'm gonna go ahead and get myself this at Rite Aid. It's kind of expensive, but we tried this once on an Ibotta deal and I actually really do like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up. Ocean Halo Noodle Soup. Um, it's $4.69, which is actually cheaper than Kroger, believe it or not. I prefer the beef though, but they don't have that, but yeah, why not? I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up. $2.69, that'll be my lunch today. Okay, well, update on Rite Aid. <laughs> I went up to the register. And I found some awesome clearance. So now I kind of wish I wouldn't have bought the noodle bowl because I could have just used my bonus cash on these clearance products I got, but whatever, it's okay. So I went up there and the first thing I saw that I was excited about was this little guy on um, this little baby hand sanitizer. I like to always carry it with me because anybody got time for COVID or any other sickness and there's so much sickness going around. So this was on clearance for 50 cents. So I picked that guy up and then I get up there and they have these hand soaps. It's called Soapbox, Sea Mineral, and Iris. I don't really care what the scent is. It's on clearance for 50 cents for a hand soap pump. 50 cents. Great deal. And they had several up there. So if you're local, you might be able to still find those. I got four of them. So for 50 cents. So I paid 250 for the two 
or no, for the little hand sanitizer and the four soaps. And then I got this. And technically, after the bonus cash, it was two sixty nine. But I'm okay with that. It sounds good. Well, don't I feel stupid? <laughs> don't I feel stupid right now? <laughs> All I can do is laugh. I'm not used to driving downtown, and so I'm sitting on Main Street and waiting to turn right at the light. And I'm just sitting there, and the light's green. And I'm like, dude, why are you just sitting here and not moving? And so we're just sitting there and sitting there. <laughs> And then it goes red, and I'm like, well, great, now he missed the light, so I'm still sitting there. And then the light turns green again, and he's still not moving, and I'm like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> well, it was a parked car. It was a parked car. I feel so dumb. It's a parked car, and I'm just sitting there waiting on him to go, and I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, don't I feel dumb. Don't I feel dumb. I'm not used, I was not in that downtown era of time where people went downtown for everything, so I don't understand the parking that well down there, so yeah. But anyways, I finally realized it and drove around. But anyways, I'm not gonna go to Respect. I've been really craving some more zucchini since I made it the other day. So they have it here, it's $2.69 for three of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that, that just sounds really good. Okay, gonna go ahead and pick up some lettuce here. It's honestly kind of pricey, but it's on sale at least. So it's $3.99. We don't have any, and that way I can have some salads and stuff. So I'm gonna pick this up. In the tragic, tragic event that we would get an ice storm and I couldn't get back down here to Respects, I'm gonna pick up some dill dip um, just now for Christmas Eve. It's 6.35 for this big one. I wish I would have had this the other night when I bought it, but I'm gonna go ahead and buy this. So we got it for Christmas Eve and we don't have to worry about it. All right. This store kind of confuses me because they have two different off brands. They have one called Best Choice and then they have one called Always Save and Always Save is cheaper. And so, you know, I'm, I'm getting the Always Save. They're only $1.29, which is great because the Walmart brand's $1.38, I think now. So I'm happy to get these. They don't have a ton left. I'm gonna leave one for somebody else, but we go through these pretty quick. Um, so gonna buy these for $1.29 each. Pretty cool. They actually included the name brand milk on sale. So they have the generic Respects brand and the Broughton, which is the name brand milk for $3.19. So I'm gonna get that. Sometimes it's cheaper at Walmart or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get it here. Um, not too bad of a deal. You know what though? I'm gonna swap it out because I see one that's good through January 5th in the back. And this one's only through December 31st. And we want to extend that shelf life of the milk as long as possible. I mean, I highly doubt it'll last till then because my grandparents go through like at least two gallons a week between my grandma, my grandpa, and my great uncle. They use a lot of milk, but you know what? I might even just get one more just so we're extra stocked. That would just be nice in case the weather really gets that bad and we can't get out just to have it on hand. I'm going to go ahead and buy three. There's plenty of it left. I'm not getting this, but cotton candy yogurt. That sounds interesting. Not getting this either, but I've never seen Swiss Miss chocolate pudding. Interesting. I remember back in the day, we used to get the Sara Lee pie for like $3.97 every year. Now it's $7.99. Ridiculous. All right, so I figured I'd go ahead and do this. Um, my great uncle adores the Eggo strawberry waffles and they're kind of on sale. I mean, they used to be cheaper than this every day, but new prices, they're $2.99, so I'm gonna get him a few boxes. But I just noticed this, they have Fruit Loop. Fruit Loop waffles. That sounds interesting. I love how I said, oh, I'm just running in for a couple things. And then here I have a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Story of my life. All right, so I've done a couple more purchases, just checking the sales and stuff. The sales are actually very good here this week. I really should check it out down here more often, but Velveeta cheese slices, 24 of them for $3.99. That works out to about 17 cents a slice. We're getting a rotisserie chicken for dinner. This is not the cheapest, but everything else is a pretty good price, so I'm good with it. Bob Evans potatoes to go with dinner tonight, just rotisserie chicken, potatoes, and I'll make some zucchini. We have some leftover bread, boom, easy and done doing that. Also getting some pies for Christmas. So pumpkin pie and Dutch apple. These are on a very good sale for $4.99. That's about the cheapest I see pie much anymore. So I'm good with that. And I think guys, that is going to be a wrap on this. And you'll see another grocery haul tomorrow for Christmas. So some of this is Christmas. 
some of this is just stuff we need to get through for a little bit. So yeah, but this is what we're doing. I'm gonna check out. All right, checked out, done. Um, actually not too bad of a wait and the parking was wonderful here too. But I am so angry at myself because I didn't read the tag close enough. I thought the zucchini was $2.29 for the entire package. Now, it was $2.29 a pound, which meant that stupid zucchini was like $5 which broke my heart, but live and let live, I guess. I mean, lesson learned, don't buy my zucchini here again. I could have swore I didn't look at the back. That's the problem. It literally said it on the back. I just looked at the tag and thought that that was for all of it, but what are you gonna do? What's done is done. Yeah, so anyways, disappointed in myself there. Lord help me. I survived the post office. They get you through there pretty quick, actually. There was three of them up there working, so it wasn't too bad at all. Very impressed with these stores and, you know, just businesses and stuff. They're doing really, really good dealing with the bigger crowds this holiday season. But I got these two boxes. These are both from Mike and Ken. Um, they sent them to me, and it's like, oh, my gosh, these boxes are huge. And they told me I'm not allowed to open or shake or anything like that, so I can't really guess what they are until Christmas. So, yeah. This is tempting, but I'm gonna try to abide by their wishes and not open it. All right, so got my loot at the post office. Got another 11 cards. You guys are just so showing up for this card exchange. It's been great. Um, hopefully you all aren't annoyed with me doing it on camera or anything like that. I know it does take some time, but I feel like a lot of you really enjoy seeing me open your card. And if it annoys you, you can always just fast forward. So first up though, I'm gonna start here with Tanya from California. Let's see what we got here. Oh, this is the coolest card ever. It's like a felt penguin fishing and getting a stocking and a present on an iceberg. Like that is just such a cool card. So much character in this card. I love that card, Tanya. Oh, oh my gosh. And then she sent me an absolute ton of coupons. So this one I see off the top, I'm already so excited. A dollar off of Laura's lean ground beef. And look at that, no expiration date. That is crazy. And that is the ground beef we typically buy. So I am so excited for that. Also 75 cents off of Nestle Till House morsels. A dollar off of Kellogg cereal, off of two Kellogg cereals. Some water coupons, Tabasco, barbecue sauce. Oh my goodness. Um, top of Faye. Or wheat bread, Kraft mac and cheese, a whole ton of Lysol, Tazo. Wow, that is so nice. That is so, so, so nice. Oh, man. And then the card inside, which again, I just love that card so much. Um, it's a season's greetings and best wishes for the new year. And she wrote, Nick, I continue to be thankful for you. Sending you lots of blessings this holiday season with care and gratitude, Tanya. Tanya, thank you so much. And again, I just, I love this card. I love that card so much. I love that. Thank you so much. Next up is from Texas. More Texas, guys. Texas has showed up for this card. I'm going to do a spreadsheet, and I want to, like, count how many, like, cards I got from each state, because I guarantee you Texas was number one. Okay, so this card says Silent Night, and that is a really nice card as well. Um, oh, this came from Vince and Melissa, and they included a $10 bill. Like, guys, you all do not have to send me anything like that. I 100% appreciate that, though. Thank you so much. That is so sweet. It says, may the true meaning of Christmas fill your heart with peace and joy this holiday season. Merry Christmas, Vince and Melissa. And then they wrote, thank you for sharing your knowledge of couponing with all of us. Here's a little Christmas cheer. Thank you, Vince and Melissa, so much. You have no idea how much I appreciate that. That is so kind. This next card is from Misty from Florida. I don't think we've got a ton of Florida cards this year, so that's cool. Let's check it out. All right, so this is a card with snow, and that's probably what we're going to be seeing here in a couple of days. Um, it says, celebrate the wonder of the season. And Misty wrote this note. Thank you for so much for sharing your couponing. I've really learned a lot. I've been able to provide food and everyday essentials for my family because of the work you do. You're truly a blessing to so many people. Keep up the amazing work. Hope you and your family have a happy, safe, and blessed Christmas and upcoming New Year. Love, Misty. Misty, thank you so much. That is such a nice card and a, such a nice message. I truly, truly appreciate that. Okay, next up is from Jana from Indiana. If I say anybody's name wrong, I apologize. 
Um, sometimes names can be hard to pronounce. <gasps> oh, I love this card. It's a car hauling a tree. I love that. That is awesome. And it says, wishing you a wonderful holiday season. And then she wrote, Nick, thank you for all you do helping save money. Jonna, thank you so, so much. So much. I really, really appreciate that. Such a nice card. I love these cool cards you guys have sent this year. All right, we got one from Ohio. Lots of Ohio's have come through this year. Ooh, this one's a New Year's card. This is our first New Year's card. I like that. Celebrate 2023. Um... And it says, Nick, happy holidays and happy new year. Thank you for all that you do. You're appreciated, Michelle. Michelle, I appreciate you for watching and for your nice card. I love that. Thank you so much. Okay, next up is for, um, Melanie from Michigan. I've had a ton of Michigans this year as well. And this one is some penguins walking. I love that. That's awesome. This is my all your Christmas dreams come true. And she wrote, Nick. Thank you for doing all the hard work and finding the deals, Melanie. Your viewer, Melanie. Melanie, thank you so, so, so much. I love that card. I love everybody's messages. It's just so nice. I get a lot of criticism sometimes. So it's really when people like send these cards and say all these nice things, it just makes me know that there's some people out there who aren't annoyed by me and the things I do. Uh, okay, this next one is from Doris from Florida. I was going to try to show you. Let me see if I can show you without showing stuff. Um, she put this little Ohio sticker there. I just really, really neat. All right, and this card is nice. It's got a little truck and a house and everything like that. Oh, my gosh. You guys are just showing up so much this year. $15 Target gift card. That is just too kind. Man, you guys are so nice. It says, may the timeless message of the season fill your heart and home with joy today and throughout the coming year. And then D wrote, thank you for all the hard work you do for all of us all year. I've learned so much from watching you on YouTube. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. D, thank you so much. I don't know if I said it's from Florida. This card is from Florida. Um, but she had that Ohio sticker. That was so cool. D, thank you so much for that beautiful card and the gift card. Again, you totally didn't have to do that, but that was so sweet. Next up is a card from Maria from, take a guess. Texas. So many Texas. Oh, I love this card too. Oh, it's another one of those felt things. I don't know why I like love the feel of those, but it's like a felt wreath. And it says, Winter Wishes, North Pole. It says, May this Christmas bring you near to those you love, feed with joy, and warm your heart. And then she wrote, Thank you for sharing your knowledge with all of us. Have a wonderful Christmas with your family. God bless. Maria, Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. See you too, Maria. I love that card. Thank you so much. This one's from Tara from Louisiana. She's been a long time follower. I don't know if I've got too many Louisianas this year, so this is cool. Okay, and then this one says Merry Christmas, and it has a bird on it. That's nice. <gasps> Tara, you did not have to do that. Another $10. You guys are just too sweet. And it says, wishing you the very warmest kind of Christmas, the kind that's filled with happy moments that become favorite memories. And then Tara wrote, thank you for the deals videos. Couponing is my favorite thing to do. I really enjoy your vlogs too. Your dad is hilarious. I'll have to let him know you said that. Um, I hope you and your family have the best Christmas this year. I was thinking this could buy you lunch somewhere. Heart Tara. Tara, thank you so much. That totally can buy me lunch somewhere. That is too kind of you. Thank you so much. Next up is from Joseph from Louisiana. Oh, I spy a Christmas story card. Yes. What does it say? I triple dog dare you. <laughs> That's awesome. Ah, oh, man, you guys are just too kind, too kind. They sent me a gift card, a $10 gift card to McDonald's and wrote for hot chocolate. That is too kind. I totally will get you sad that we go to McDonald's all the time for drinks. Man, that is so sweet. And it says, I triple dog dare you to have a Merry Christmas. And then they wrote, thank you for everything you do. We love your deals videos and the vlogs. I hope you and your family have a very Merry Christmas. Lynn and Joe. Lynn and Joe, thank you so much for that card. That is so kind of you. And you guys are just so sweet. Y'all are the best. Seriously, you're the best. Every rude comment I ever get, just I need to come back and watch these because y'all are so kind. Okay, last but not least, it's from Cynthia from Arizona. And it's a nice little snowman card here. Oh, that is so cool. She sent me this little like macrame angel. That is too cool. My grandma, I'm gonna have to show this to her because she loves angels. She would love that. 
That is so cool. Thank you so much. And it says, sending friendly greetings for a happy holiday season. And she wrote, Dear Nick, sending Merry Christmas and Happy New Year wishes from my family to yours. Thank you for all you do, Cindy. Cindy, thank you so much. Thank you all so much. You guys have done the coolest stuff this year. I was totally unprepared. I ordered 40 cards. I've already had to go in and make two more orders. I ordered more today because you guys just keep showing up and sending me the most awesome cards. I'm going to for sure make another trip down there. Before Christmas, I'm getting the cards today and I'll be able to ship everybody out cards tomorrow who sent these today. So I will get those out to you guys tomorrow. All right, so you're probably like thinking more cards? You got more cards to open? No, I'm in the same place filming, but it's actually several hours later. It's now 8.08 p.m. and it's been a very busy time since I last filmed. Um, went and did, well, first I did two different videos. I did the one I got my family for Christmas part three, and then I filmed a really, really awesome video. It's a coupon chat that's going to go up Thursday morning. It's called um, what did I call that? The what couponing really costs. And I talk about some like hidden costs of couponing, but the big thing I really went over was the difference between like accounting your hauls as cash basis, which is what I do now, or the net costs. So that's going to be a really, really good video. Be sure to check that out. So I got that done. We had dinner, super simple, just rotisserie chicken again. Um, like I said earlier, some mashed potatoes. I did a, do some of the zucchini. I froze half of that zucchini because it was expensive, but it did get quite a bit of zucchini, like a lot, because they were huge zucchinis. If I knew it was by the pound, I would have got smaller ones, but what you gonna do? So I did that, um, and then we also had some bread with it. So it was really good, pretty easy, chill dinner. It was delicious. Um, we went walking at the mall. I was gonna go to the gym, but my mom got off of work early, and my dad, he usually has something on Tuesday nights, but he didn't have it tonight, so we actually just went to the mall and walked. Um, which was good. The, we're not going to be able to do that much longer though because the mall, our mall is pretty weird and for some reason decides that seven o'clock is a good time to close on normal nights. Um, so we normally can't even make it there in time, but they're open an extra hour for Christmas. So yeah, we were able to go do that. Um, and yeah, it was just a good productive day. So guys, that's all I got for this vlog. I do hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. As they walk from